intruder now. Bring it back alive. What if it puts up a fight? <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to manage it. <laughs> well, this is a first. How did you get in here? Intruder acquired. It's a Papilio Aristolochia. A what? A butterfly. <laughs> Don't worry, it's harmless. There's no way it should be in here. There must be a breach in the filtering system. I'm picking up another reading. It's coming from the southeast quadrant. A hot one. I can't get a visual. Check it out. Take your position. I'm going into the field. Okay. I've got sixty seconds. We have a security breach in CEL four. Full alert. Our lab is on the cutting edge of grain research. The European Agronomy Council has invested millions in developing a new variety of wheat. We thought it was resistant to all known diseases. Guess you missed one. Looks to me like some kind of viral destruction. Maybe a new strain of viroid. Viroid? Sounds like a B-movie alien. Ed, viroids are a very specialized microvirus which uh, target plants. You know, I'd say this was just the beginning. A trial run for something much bigger. That's my fear. This was the perfect man-made agricultural environment. Very own Garden of Eden, eh? If they're capable of laying waste to this, I dread to think what havoc they could wreak in the real world. Do you have any idea who might be responsible? We have the raiders on video from a security cam. The resolution's low. The image is very poor. Grainy. <laughs> <clears throat> It's beautiful. It is beautiful, but deadly. Any idea what strain it is? It's a hybrid of some sort. Not one I've come across before. But not harmful to humans. 
No, no, no. Viroids, they're very choosy. This one's chosen wheat. Nothing's going to change that. You said that your lab's been developing this wheat to be resistant to all known infections. Now, who'd have a reason for wanting you to fail? Pesticide companies. They make fortunes from protecting cereals against this sort of thing. I'm going into the field. Grainy was right. Oh, come on, you've seen worse. Well, that's very good. I'm not finished yet. I'll run him through the profile database, see if we can get a name. Ah, I unplugged the modem to upgrade the chipset. Can you reconnect it for me? Sure, I can. Oh, dear. Oh! Spider, it's harmless. It may be harmless, but it's not legless, Ross. I hate creepy crawlies. <laughs> Becky, did you know our very own Spider Man is afraid of insects? Ross? <laughs> and I thought Ed was fearless. Greenville's been filling me in on our prime suspects, the major pesticide companies. Mm. Ross, any luck with that video yet? Just in, one positive ID. James Hawke. Institute of Climatology, junior grade meteorologist. Now, why is a weatherman interested in destroying wheat? Beckett, we're trying to find a connection between people who forecast the weather and viruses that kill crops. Will you check out this guy, Hawk? I'm looking into an outfit called Pesticor. I represent a collective of Eastern Alliance farmers. And you need help with a pest problem. Dr. Zygo, you've come to the right place. Yes, we have a lot of catching up to do. We've got nothing like this back home. Well, I'm pleased to report that here at Pesticor, we've been responsible for developing pesticides that eliminate 96% of all known crop blights. It's quite a success story, Dr. Kroll. Yes, it is. My colleagues have dubbed me the exterminator. Huh. Um, well, I... You've got something that can exterminate this. I don't recognize it. Where was it found? It destroyed a field of wheat. In hours. Is there any way to counteract it? Not that I know of. I strongly recommend that you incinerate all of the infected wheat immediately. Really? If you leave this with me, I'll get a research team onto it right away. We'll be in touch. Uh, Dr. Kroll, uh, just one more thing. Um, please accept this gift as a token of my people's esteem and thanks. All our collective weather. You've just been made an honorary member. You're very kind. To bring you good fortune. Beckett. I managed to get the micro camera on him. Oh. Looks like I've managed to upset Dr. Crow. What's this radio playing up? Really? 
There you go. Just needed to get the bugs out. No more insect jokes, please, Ross. Hey, come on in. Don't get ants in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey. Kroll's got something called ZH282 hidden away. Does that mean anything to either of you? Must be the viroid. All the samples maintaining optimal potency? Good. Keep it that way. Oh, Ros, I'm losing the picture. Condensation. That camera's very sensitive to humid conditions. Gone. A macro camera. Short range. He must still be in the building. We have an intruder, Dr. Zygo. I want him found. We're just going to the Institute of Climatology. Yeah, I got out okay. Lucky for me, the guards here don't know basic physics. You don't mix electricity with water. Hawk, I'll see if I can prize any secrets out of the mainframe. Timing devices. Like clockwork. Ross? Go ahead. I'm in section K. I've just seen a hawk. He's gone into room K19 arguing with some other guy. Yeah, his name's Nathan Pym, head of forecasting here. Been on the staff for about 12 years without so much as a parking ticket. And get this, Ed. His hobbies include entomology and philately. Oh, really? Insects and stamps must be fun at parties. I think I'm getting some kind of interference. It's like a, it's like a buzzing sound. Really? That's odd. There isn't anything in that section that should block your reception. Maybe you need to get a bit closer. <laughs> Ed, there should be a ventilation shaft around the corner. Yeah, I've got it. What now? Now you crawl. Look, and all I'm saying is using the Agronomy Council's weak field for a trial run may have been a costly mistake. But I found the most efficient way to test your thyroid. 
Now I expect payment in full. But it's not all there. I never agree to an installment plan. Oh, you'll be receiving your bonus very shortly. The prevailing westerlies will reach the necessary wind speed in less than 12 hours, and after that, well, we'll all be very rich. But I want a bigger share. You really are a disappointment. At least I've got some ambition. You won't catch me spending years in this place guessing what the weather's going to do. I'm sorry you should feel that way. <laughs> Genetically enhanced to have a fatal sting. Death is almost instantaneous. I'll take this. Oh, by the way, I don't guess. I forecast. in there. Awesome. Someone's been careless. Did they all get out? We'll just have to replace them immediately. Another 24 hours and the wind will change direction. Looks like we found ourselves some pests. What should we do? Exterminate them, of course. It's a rare breed of beetle. A monarch beetle. It's really rather beautiful. <laughs> Not so pleasant when you're stuck in a crowd of them. Why would Pym want a swarm of monarch beetles? As a way of spreading infection to crops. Plants cannot be infected directly by viruses and viroids only through an insect acting as a vector. These monarch beetles could act like rats carrying the plague. They're not infected themselves, but they're carriers of the infection. I mean, what's in it for Pym? He's a meteorologist. Is he involved with crop? He said something about the prevailing westerlies. Oh, of course. That's how they're going to spread the insects. Look, crop provides the viroid. Pym predicts the wind patterns. They spray the viroid onto the beetles, then release the insects into the right winds to carry them to the target area. Right, which makes sense of this weather data I got from Pym's computer. That's a 24-hour forecast. Those winds are building exactly as they would want. And it looks like they'll get to maximum strength around midnight tonight. Which gives us less than six hours to prevent a famine in Europe, the like of which hasn't been seen for centuries. OK, we'd better go over to Pestico and destroy the viroid. This is ZH282 stuff. 
Ross? Uh, yeah, you and Ed deal with the Viroid. I'll handle the other end of their scheme, the insects themselves. How are you going to do that? By talking to their maker. They carry a trademark. It's been bred by a company called Insect Tech. Monarch beetles, almost as rare as dodos until we genetically enhance their reproductive cycle. It's wonderful, aren't they? If you like that kind of thing. Do you actually uh, breed them here, Dr. Lemon? Yes, they're used in various research projects here, but we also supply to outside agencies. Really? Like pesticide companies? As a matter of fact, yes. There you are. 100,000 of the little beauties for Pesticor. Second batch they've had this month. Delivery tonight. Let's just say she had a deadly reaction.
have your guests arrived? Not yet, but they'll come. You know what vermin are like, leave them the right bait. And they can't resist. Open it up, please. You know where you're going? R&D level four. You're gonna need some eye protection. Let's get you out of there. Holy Toledo, it's like a fruit machine. Yep. And we just hit the jackpot. H282. Get a little lost on your way back to the Eastern Alliance, Dr. Zygo. I believe this is what you're looking for. Beautiful, isn't it? And deadly. That is the wheat destroying virus, I presume. No, you presume wrongly. ZH282 is a pesticide. Pesticide. Or should I say the pesticide? <laughs> it's going to make me very rich. So the virus carried by the beetles starts your own silent plague. Then when everyone panics as their crops fail, they can't kill the viroid. You arrive with your last minute miracle cure. Which you just happened to have prepared earlier. Not only will you become incredibly rich, but you'll be the man that prevented famine in Europe. Congratulations, Doc. I'm sure the world will be blinded by your achievement. Access denied. They changed the access code. Oh, you never hit a jackpot twice, do you? Just have to cheat then. You better hurry up, mate, because that flash grenade's not going to buy us much time. Yeah, two down, two to go. Oh, it's always a half empty glass from you, isn't it? After them! Incoming. Come on, Becky. Yeah, you can make him do. I can do it. Come on! Access denied. Seal the complex. Airtight. And this time, Access denied. no more mistakes. Stop. Why is it always heights?
no matter. It's too late for them to stop us now. That's the main security desk. Body heat from the two security guards. And what does the yellow represent? I don't know. It's weird. It looks like some sort of radiation rather than heat. Any sign of Ed? No. The rest of the building looks deserted. Ah, oh, except there. On the roof. Body heat. Well, I need to be sure the wind will carry our friends in the right direction. I thought meteorologists used computers and satellites these days. We do. But when our future wealth hangs on the wind being exactly right, I prefer empirical evidence. How long before that thing tells us we can launch? Not long. No problem, but the alarm could take some time. Well, time's one thing we haven't got, Ros. Beckett! Beckett. Are you there? Ed, where have you been? Oh, you know, hanging around. Look, we're at entrance four. We're going to be with you in... Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes? Having trouble with the alarm, are you? Lucky for you, you got a man on the inside. Now listen. I'll give you five seconds. Anything longer than that, people are going to start getting suspicious. Okay? Go. Power spike. Okay, three targets. Ed, you find the viroid. We identified a strong source of energy emissions around the tenth floor. Roz, you go to the fourth floor. Find the ZH282 antidote itself. And when you get it, take it somewhere safe. Without the antidote, there's no profit for them. What about you, Beckett? I'm getting the roof. Someone's got to stop the Beatles being released. Beckett? 
I thought heights weren't exactly your forte. Yeah, they're not, but at least I'm not scared of insects. Guys, I found where the viroid is. It's kept me on some kind of ultraviolet decontamination chamber. That will be to stop the viroid getting out before they're ready. Yeah, and to prevent their own little germs catching any other little germs. Well, now I've found it, what do you want me to do with it? Disposal is not an option. We must completely destroy it. Hey. I wonder if I can use the ultraviolet quarantine itself to destroy the viroid. The reading here is two. I notice the scale goes up to 20. OK, now you need to hit the viroid with a high-intensity burst. Rack the scale up to maximum. That will kill it. Are you ready yet? Conditions are perfect. If we set the timers at two hours, the insects will be released at the right height into the wind to ensure excellent dissemination. Good. You can go back down and get your viroid from the decontamination area. OK, I'm testing it now. Right, I've got to stack them up under the UV beams in the chamber. burst at high intensity ought to do it. Well, Doc. I'd say the treatment's worked. Your viroid's dead. Very clever. But this one bottle is still enough to do the job. It might take longer, but the viroid will multiply and spread. I suggest you stay exactly where you are. At this setting, you'll get a fatal tan before you're halfway across. Thanks for this. Special low temperature vault. Security to Pim. Pim. We have an intruder, sir. Where? In the low temperature vault. Well, what on earth is going on?
Beckett, I'm just loading the last tubes of the ZH-282. We've got to get them to a safe place. If the Viroid ever escapes, those tubes are the one thing that will save the wheat crops. Ross, they're going to release the insects using weather balloons. Beckett, can you let the insects out before they get infected with the Viroid? Not without an octane cut. Then no. Maybe I can do something with the timers. Any joy? Well, I can't zero them. I can only get them down for five minutes. Well, hopefully that will release the insects before they can add the viroid. Step away! No! Don't use the taser! No! Help me, man! This stuff is priceless! Finger. Hey, it's me. Ed. Listen, I managed to kill most of the Bioid. Crow got away. He's got some that's still alive. Rose. Rose, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Pim's dead. And all the antidote was destroyed, too. Crow's got the last of the Bioid. We must get to the roof. Stop him spraying the insects with it. Only two minutes to the release. We still have the formula. We can make more. seconds to release. Well, I guess you could say we just stopped a serial killer. Genius, Jean Daniel. 
Advising me to invest in wheat futures? Where do you get all your information? I have my sources, Governor. And I'm more than familiar with some of the players involved. It makes sense to bet on winners. I think you'll find you can afford that new gymnasium now. And more. To think we used to have you sewing mailbags. Yeah. Of course, if I'd have been in a position to have made some investments myself, I'd be calling my broker right now to ensure I took the profits. Hmm. Yes. I have to go. Uh, there's some things I have to catch up with. This is good work. Carry on. I've been thinking. A staff swimming pool would be awfully good for employee morale. We shall have to see what we can do. Observe that man. He's an example to everyone. Extra privileges for Jean Daniel. 